We just finished up a farm show here and we're actually gonna be installing one of our first Ramapa section control systems. We're all set up here, getting ready to take apart what we need to take apart and start assembling these new components here. the section control cart install. This is what really was a pain in the rear. Uh, this shaft and these bearings and collars all get seized in here. And so we got one put together and the other one pretty much is in pieces, you'll see. Bearing's bad, but we got it. So now we're moving on. So we've got the tractor coming over. He's gonna unfold the wings here get some measurements on it, and then also we can close these slide gates a little bit and actually finish hooking them up it is now the next day making good progress i got two of my engineers out here with us i do have the rake controller liquid out here now and so you can see very similar to the dry just different controller. The dry here with the ready hydraulic drive on here is already on. So I'm gonna be piggybacking them together with the harnesses. And Derek and Chadron are assembling the drive systems here. So this is Derek. Hey. Uh, this is the clutch assembly. Now we don't use this part with the hydraulic drive conversion, but we still have to have it to complete the, the drive system to the chain side. So he's making a progress there. We learned something new, eccentric bearings and collars. And then Chadron here is finishing the actuators, all the hookups, making sure that the distance here is right, getting the wires connected. How's it going Chadron? Good. Let's take a closer look here. A lot of little intricate stuff, little fasteners, adjustments that you gotta do. So it takes time, but we're getting her done. Chattering just putting some finishing touches to the control box here. But uh, recap, to show you guys what all we did, this is the extra harnessing. We piggybacked off the brake controller dry and the liquid's right behind it. So here's the brake controller liquid on the back side and the dry is on the front. I use the bracket and put them both together. And then on the other side here, we got the control box here that's gonna run all these actuators right up here. And that's going to close all the gates right above the meter roller. So, got everything back together. We have to do some relocation brackets here to get clearance for these uh, linear actuators. But we got it all in. And next week we're going to be visiting the farmer's site and setting it up in his tractor. So we're all packed up, pretty much ready to go. Thanks, guys, for the help. You're welcome. It is now several weeks since I've installed the section control system on this tow between air cart. I am now heading out to the customer site. We're going to be running in the field. He was harvesting and there's a nice little window here right before the rain that we're going to get some seed in the ground, get the settings all configured on in the tractor. Just want to get really good understanding on this system and, and really know how to make it perform like it should. Found the customer over here. He's just transporting his machine to another field. He's gonna be pulling up and getting some seed put in so we can get this section control up and running and he needs to do some seeding before the rain comes in today. Farmer Braden is getting the auger conveyor all set up and he's gonna move the tractor in position so he can get the cart all filled up. But here you can see we've got everything ready to go here. All we need to do is get product in the tank and getting her set up. In the meantime, I'm gonna get up in the tractor and start getting familiar with some of the settings and see if we can get it as close as possible before we have to get out in the field. So as Braden's getting the cart filled up here, I took a look at the hose routings here. And it's important to number, you know, whatever runs you have, one through eight, one through six, whatever, 
and then look at the corresponding locations of the towers of what they go to. But you can see here, in order for us to run a section, I'm gonna have to switch number one, three, five, and seven around because they're actually backwards on the rear rank. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna switch one, three, five, and seven rounds so that it actually can make sense. The way this is set up, it's gonna be a split rank configuration, or it is a split rank configuration, which means we're only gonna be able to do four full sections uh, instead of eight, but it'll still work really good. put in the right spot. Now we gotta finish getting seat in and play with some settings. Let's go check with Braden here, see how things are going. Thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. So again, they're all filled up. Yeah. Right. Go, go. So Braden's trying a new conveyor. So far so good? Yeah, working great. Feels fast. Good. Pulling up, right? So we're doing some quick testing, some initial runs in the field, and you got a blockage. <laughs> yep. So we gotta figure that out. While Brain's getting that figured out, I'm gonna show you the shutoff gate by manually activating them. So we're setting our test row on the AB line, and then we're gonna plant sideways into it. So here you can manually control the on off. So everything's working there. The gates are closing. Now we're just trying to figure out, make sure we got all the right settings. Did you find anything? Thanks for watching guys. The camera actually died last night. It got so late, I ended up hitting a deer on the way home. What a mess. But excited to get that done. For the first time, you know, we ran into some challenges, but we're excited to provide these kind of technology upgrades. If you guys have any questions, give us a call. We're here to help. Again, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.